What is good, Tesla family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla. I'm going to talk about what the technicals are indicating, what the news is saying, and what Elon Musk said about Tesla. So before I do talk about all this stuff, I do have to mention that I'm not a financial legal taxation expert, so do not take this as financial legal taxation advice. Everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not as mean, but if it's the entire community as a whole. With all that said and done and out of the way, guys, let's get on with the technical. So looking at Tesla right now, we're up over 3.26 percent for the day it's up and coming it's looking very very strong and amazing i'm very very excited to tell you guys that tesla has broken 900 dollars. it didn't close above there but it did touch it it actually touched it and that's huge huge bullish news now let's look at the one day one minute candles just like this and we can see that we started off at 855 dollars. why did we start off so low because tesla dropped it dropped in the after hours now in my previous video i did think that tesla could actually close around 870 maybe have a red day because when quarterly earnings reports normally come out tesla tends to drop a little bit but that ended up not happening i will admit that i was wrong in that instance but i'm not always wrong because i did tell you guys that tesla would break 900 very very soon and it ended up touching 900 and it's on the verge of actually closing above that very very soon now when it comes to technicals, guys, we had quite a bit of volatility right over here. If I actually bring up a Bollinger real quick, you could see that there was a lot of a lot of upward momentum up to nine hundred dollars, and then quite a bit of volatility here and there before it closed a little bit below the mean price. But overall, it's a very strong closing, extremely strong actually. Eight hundred ninety-four dollars, up three point two six percent for a huge company like Tesla with a stock price of over almost nine hundred dollars. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. High volatility. But I want to show you guys two big indicators which make me even more bullish and why why I think Tesla's not done from here. So if I bring up the six month chart actually and we, we show the MACD, check this out. The MACD crossed the nine day moving average. And right now they, it hasn't crossed it again which is a key indicator that the histograms are going to continue to be green. That basically means that Tesla's on a bullish cycle, guys. Bullish cycle, and it's going to continue on this cycle. It's not done from this point. That's what the MACD is indicating. And on top of that, guys, let's look at what the RSI is showing. The RSI is currently showing that Tesla has insane amounts of strength. Insane amounts of strength. It's kind of reflecting the overall uh, chart pattern, but that just shows that it's strong and has a lot more room to run, and it's up in coming i mean this thing has enough room to explode and i'm going to tell you why why i think it's nowhere near done it's nowhere near done and i'm very bullish i do think a thousand dollars will come before the year ends i'm super super bullish but remember the one year chart shows tesla was at 900 dollars, and then it dropped because of the global ship shortage the evergrande situation a bunch of things caused it to be a little bit in the red but what happened and it, it's recovered it has recovered. This almost resembles a Wyckoff-like schematic, but anyways, it recovered, guys. It's almost there. And it's not just going to recover. It's going to continue to keep on going up and up and up. So before I give you guys my stock price prediction for tomorrow in the near term slash long term future, you guys already know that I believe Tesla is going to break three thousand dollars easily by 2025. I believe it's going to break uh, past uh, one thousand dollars by the end of this year. But what do I think is going to happen tomorrow? And I'm going to say that based off what the news is showing. So let's just go over the news and what Elon Musk said before I give you guys my specific stock price prediction for tomorrow. Basically, it was noted that Tesla made $1.6 billion in Q3 and it's switching to LFP batteries globally. Basically, the lithium iron phosphate batteries are less energy dense, but much, much longer lived. And that's going to be huge news for Tesla. It was also noted that they made a profit of $1.6 billion in the third quarter of 2021. They built 237,000 cars and delivered 241,000 to ending in Q3 with $1.3 billion in free cash flow and $16 billion in cash and cash equivalents. Impressively, these record results happened despite supply chain woes. And in that to me, guys, just sells everything. They absolutely crushed their earnings report despite the fact that they had supply shortages, despite the global chip shortage, despite everything that was going on, the semiconductor shortage, despite all that, they still crushed it. And that makes me even better. They have cheaper, longer 
uh, lasting batteries that's going to be even better for tesla overall now they do they did get some criticism as the batteries may be a little bit less energy dense but that's going to be okay because the longer lasting batteries is i think going to be better for a lot of people out there and it's going to be insane for their business model but anyways it was also reported right over here on Yahoo News, and it's once again repeated that Tesla will only use iron-based batteries for standard mode EVs. Now, I don't need to go into specific details on this article. Um, it, it's basically saying the same thing, but I also want to talk about something. And that was the fact that Elon Musk was not in the first quarterly earnings report on Wednesday night. They, this is the first time that they did that. And yeah, I mean... It, it happens. Elon Musk is obviously not going to be there 24-7. I totally get that. But don't take that as a bad sign. Obviously, the media is making a big, big deal out of that. They're not giving Tesla the credit they deserve a lot of the time. So even though Elon Musk wasn't there, it doesn't mean he doesn't care, guys. It just means that he could have been busy trying to work and improve Tesla's model. Despite that, he could have been doing so many other things. He could, he could have been working at the time it was happening because he didn't want to take any breaks. That could be what was going on. So do not take that or look at that as a really, really bad sign because they killed expectations. He's still the CEO. He still believes in the company, of course. Of course. So don't look at that as a bad sign. I mean, he's a very busy man. I really don't want to look at that as something bad. The media is making it seem that way. I'm not. I'm going to just move on from there. Do not give any hate to Elon. He deserves a lot of credit. The last piece of news I want to talk about is the fact that Tesla built a 40 gigawatt mega pack factory to increase its volume by 10 times. It will be the largest battery energy storage facility on the planet. And that's going to be absolutely amazing for Tesla because they can now produce more. And that, my friends, is going to be even better for it in terms of its share price because we can we can see that their factories are just improving 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 as more and more energy is being stored absolutely fantastic for the the consumer side of things fantastic for their for, for their manufacturing side but i'm not going to go into specific details about that right now i just wanted to put it out there but let's just talk about this right over here it says that according to was that Tesla R Tesla Ratty. It says that Tesla is enforcing strict full self-driving rules for inattentive drivers. That's what it says right over here. And then Elon Musk said, yes, we are. So I, I just want to put it out there that they are doing this for safety reasons only. You may see a delay in the full self-driving beta. Sure. But why are they doing this? Are they doing this because they're jerks? The media tries to make it seem that way. The answer is no. They're doing this for the safety of their people. They're doing this because they care about people like you and me. They're doing this to improve their product and so on and so forth. It's for safety. So do not look at this as something as a bad sign. They can take their time, guys, because this is an innovative piece of technology. Full self-driving technology is super awesome. And with that said, guys, there are so many catalysts for Tesla. Full self-driving beta. The fact that Tesla has the new Gigafactory, they crushed their earnings report. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla closed very, very close, maybe a little bit below $900 tomorrow. But then for next week, I think we're going to crush past $900. We may even go well above $910. So that's what I predict is going to happen. I do think that by um, before the year ends, we're going to see $1,000. Can you imagine that $1,000 Tesla? That's like a dream come true, guys. Well, anyways, that's it for the video, guys. I'm very, very excited for this company and very grateful you guys are listening. Please have a great, great, great rest of the day, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, and peace out.